Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Karen Beal. I'm the Healthy Living Program Coordinator here at Gilda's Club South Florida. Today, we are in collaboration with Debbie's Dream Foundation, and I'm going to be bringing you a gentle Hatha flow. Um, so first, I wanted to talk to you about yoga and cancer recovery. So yoga means to unite. And so what we're uniting is the breath and body awareness. So when a person faces a serious illness or trauma, fear can set in and that causes a lot of stress. However, when we practice yoga, we live in the now and we stay in the now. And so that helps you to face those uncertainties with the future. Breath work is essential to the healing process. So while we're working with the postures or the asanas, we're going to be also including the breath. So research has shown that yoga is very helpful with cancer recovery, even before cancer diagnosis, during or after. So some of the benefits for yoga um, is reducing stress and anxiety, reducing depression, increasing the mood, and also improving digestion, improving sleep quality, and also reducing hot flashes that can be associated with chemo treatment and a lot of other benefits. So I hope that you enjoy this gentle, easy flow. We're going to start first with a breathing exercise. So this is called the five finger breathing. So all you have to do, and it's something that you can really do anywhere. So we're just gonna hold up our hand and exhale all of the breath out. And so basically what we're going to be doing is tracing the fingers while we're breathing. So exhale out. And if you want to close your eyes, you can, you don't have to. So we're going to start here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Take a nice deep long breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. So let's try it again on the other hand. And this is really good if you're um, you know, standing in line or you're in your car or you're just needing to calm yourself quickly. So having that that um, body mind connection here and having that um, physical touch with your with your hand while you're deep breathing that'll help to um, soften that nervous system um, your parasy parasympathetic nervous system and calm you right down so let's start again so exhale everything we're going to go inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Now come to rest your hands on your knees and we'll sit in Sukhasana or easy pose. This is a nice uh, pose to come back to if you're feeling 
um, a little tired or out of breath whenever you're practicing yoga, there are a couple of different um, poses that you can come into and I'll demonstrate those now. So you can always come back to easy pose. You can sit here in Thunderbolt where you're on your, on your feet or you can also sit in staff pose, just wherever you f you're feeling comfortable um, when you're practicing. So we're gonna start here in the easy pose. So let's go ahead and start with some shoulder rolls. So we're just gonna loop our shoulders forward, back and around three times. Inhale as you go up and exhale as you come back down. Good, now reverse, inhale up, exhale back down. And your elbows are gonna to wanna to kinda of go out, so just try to keep them close to your body. Good, so let's go ahead and go to some neck twists. This is just, you know, getting into that body awareness, um, whatever that means to you, just finding a little integrity in the movement. So we're just going to inhale to the right and align that ear over the shoulder and exhale to center. Inhale to left and exhale to center. Again to the right, inhale to the right Exhale to center. Inhale to the left. And exhale to center. One more time. Inhale to the left, I mean to the right. Exhale to center. And then inhale to the left. And then we exhale back to center. Good. So you might wanna just take a moment. We've just been doing some breathing and just center yourself. We always want to have head over heart, heart over pelvis. So we wanna keep that um, alignment, keep the spine straight. Um, it could be helpful if you're new to yoga to sit on a folded blanket or a folded towel to help center uh, or to keep that spine aligned. So we're going to move on to some head nods. So we're just basically nodding yes and no. So we inhale coming back and exhale towards the chest. Inhale up. And you don't have to go back too far, just where it's comfortable. Inhale up and then we're exhaling back down towards the chest. Inhale up. and exhale down. Good. So let's take our hands. We have them on, the, on our knees. We're going to come to prayer position. This is the Anhali Mudra. This is um, a pose that's always great to come back to, to center yourself. Um, a lot of people will give thanks at this um, time, so we can do that now to give thanks to be together today. Um, and I feel very fortunate today to be bringing this um, nice, gentle flow for you all today. So we want to just give thanks. So we're going to inhale and raise our arms up. So. And just do a nice long stretch. You can wiggle your fingers here at the top, roll your wrists, and do it the other way. And then just let your arms float down as you exhale. We'll inhale up. You can wiggle your fingers again, and then float down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale up. Nice big puppy belly stretch. We want to stretch and wake up those muscles. And then we're just going to float the arms down with elegance and come back to center. 
Always keep it in mind, head over heart, heart over pelvis. So you can bring your hands back down to your knees and we'll start with some arm stretches. So you'll want to interlace your fingers. Inhale as you stretch out your hands and then come up to top. Stretch those hands out and then exhale, bring down. You can put your hands softly and then we'll do them again. Interlace and inhale as you bring up. And exhale, bring them down. So we're going to start, uh, move on to going to the side. So you can go ahead and interlace. Inhale up. And then gently stretch over to the left, or to the right. and then exhale center. Inhale to the left and exhale up. Go ahead and place your hands back on your knees. So when twisting, you want to just um, move into the twist at your own comfortable state. You don't want to rush into it. So just move at your own pace. This is just a nice gentle twist. So you're going to take your right hand and gently place it just behind you. You can do fingertips or your palm and then place your left, your left palm on your right knee. Inhale and exhale as you twist. and honor where you are. You might be able to, you know, just go a little bit. You just have to honor where you are comfortable with. So we can inhale back to center and then place your right arm again, or your left arm again on your right knee, inhale. And then as you exhale, you can move a little bit more into that twist. Inhale back to center. Now place the right hand on the left knee and the left hand behind you. We always want to make sure that sternum's up and you're staying in alignment. And a gentle twist there. And inhale back to center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and then exhale as you twist. Inhale back to center, and then we'll take the right hand on the left knee. See, I, I'm popping, so you may hear, hear some popping as you're twisting, and that's okay. We're waking up the body, and inhale back to center. So let's go ahead and place the right fingertips on the mat. Bring up the left hand, and instead of just reaching over, you want to think up, up, up. So we want to first go up, inhaling up, and then bring it over. Inhale up, exhale over. And as you exhale, you tend to be able to stretch a little bit more. Inhale up. And here you can have a little movement, wiggle those fingers, and then on the exhale, come over. And you have this nice side body stretch here. Inhale up. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale up. And exhale over. Inhale up. And as you exhale, try to take that stretch just a little bit more, whatever you're comfortable with. You might want to sway your arm, wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists, whatever feels good to you. And then we're going to inhale back up. Let's do that one more time. Let's take up the left arm, stretch up, 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 and then exhale over. 
inhale up and exhale over all right great inhale up and then bring your arms down to your sides so we're going to move now to tabletop position so just be gentle with yourself as you're moving so hopefully you can see me okay here so you want to just uh, keep your wrist in alignment with your shoulders so sh uh, wrists under elbow elbow under shoulder and knees aligned under hip so even though we have moved um, you know our line of gravity we still want to keep that alignment of head over heart heart over pelvis so nice long neck and just get your uh, your feet grounded so tops of the feet are flat on your mat and on the inhale you're going to bring your head up drop your belly and tailbone goes out and then on the exhale you're going to roll that tailbone starting at the tailbone rolling that in and as you exhale you'll curl the back head comes in and that's the last thing to drop is the head a nice curved back this is cat cow inhale head comes up belly drops and the tailbone goes out all the while keeping those feet planted at the tops of the feet planted on the mat and you can go at your own pace we're just going to do a few cat cow you may go slower you may go faster it's whatever you feel comfortable with one more time Wonderful. Now we'll come back to tabletop. Okay, so now the next thing we'll do is take the, you want to keep your hands uh, super duper wide, your fingertips wide. So that is giving you that earth body connection. So you don't want to just collapse into your elbows. You want to keep a nice uh, strong stance there and that'll help build muscle, uh, build that strength for you so that when you get into more difficult poses or you're trying to do a longer uh, class, you'll have that strength built up. So we want to just go ahead and keep those uh, wrists underneath the shoulders extend that right leg out and go ahead and keep the uh, toes just firmly on the floor there whatever's comfortable to, for you and just rock into that right calf and right foot we're just going to stretch that right calf hamstring out you can rock back and forth Just breathing into that back leg. Okay, go ahead and bring the knee down. We're going to repeat for the left leg. Extend the left leg. And go ahead and rock back and forth. Stretching that calf out the hamstrings okay and then come back to tabletop so as we begin to go into the next asana we want to just make sure that we have that good foundation so again the wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips so as we inhale we're going to raise the left hand 
And then if you can, you can go ahead and stretch out that right foot. If you want to add a little bit to it, you can right, raise the right leg. Inhale, coming back. We'll exhale, I mean, we'll inhale as we bring up the right hand and the left foot. Stretch that out. Inhale, back to center. And as we exhale, we'll bring out the left hand and the right, and extend the right foot. Back to center. And we'll repeat on the left side. And come back to center. Now we can go ahead and come back onto our heels and re relax those wrists. They might be giving you some uh, burning sensation, so we just want to rest those wrists. You can twist them, you know, roll them out. And then take a deep inhale and go ahead and you can go into a child's pose. And this is actually called wild child pose. And you'll just have your tailbone down in between your feet here. And bring the arms out. Stretch those fingers. You might be feeling some tension in your shoulders, so just relax. And just keep that breath normal, just uh, normal inhale, exhale. We can go ahead and come up back to tabletop. Curl the toes under. And then we're just going to walk our hands back till you're sitting up. So for some, this won't be any big deal to sit on your toes. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you, just go ahead and place the feet flat down on the mat. So this is a, a nice stretch for the back. So you're gonna come back, place the elbows on the mat, and then gently place your forehead on the mat with the tailbone sticking out. This is like a modified uh, puppy posture. If this is not comfortable for your shoulders to have uh, your head on the mat, you can place your fists on top of each other and that raises you up a little bit. And if that's not comfortable, then you can just go like this also, just keeping the breath at a normal pace. That just gives the shoulders a little rest from what we've been doing. So let's go ahead and turn to our back sides. And gently lay back. So sometimes with uh, treatment, you'll have some built up gas. And so what we're going to do is called the wind release pose. So depending on how comfortable you are with bringing your knees in, you would bring your knee, your, start with your right leg, inhale, bring that knee in, 
you can hold your knee here, exhale, and then as you inhale, bring the left knee up. And you can hold on to your knees and just have a nice gentle breath. And as you exhale, try to draw those knees in. If that's not comfortable for you, you can also just leave your uh, feet flat on the mat. But if it's comfortable for you to bring those legs up, you can also put in a little movement there for your spine. Just take a nice big inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and stretch out that right leg flat to the mat, toes pointing out and go ahead and release the left leg. We're going to do one leg at a time now, so inhale as you draw in the, le the right leg. You can hold it around your knee. If that's not comfortable, you can also hold on the thigh. And you're really not you know, using your arms to forcefully pull your leg in. You're just placing it here for some stability. Good, go ahead and bring it down. Inhale as you bring in. And on the next exhale, go ahead and release. If you're comfortable here, you can go ahead and raise both of your legs. We want to go ahead and um, if it's comfortable for you to put the soles of your feet together. And we're just going to grab the feet here. If that's um, not a possibility, you can hold on to your knees and then just we're going to just let those uh, feet drop for uh, drop outward. So you can hold on to your shins or your knees, or if you can uh, grab onto the outsides of your feet, this is called happy baby. You can hold on to your big toes, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And we'll just have a nice, easy breath here. You can rock back and forth. And then go ahead and release the arms. Release the legs back down to the mat. Stretch that right leg out. Stretch the left leg out. Go ahead and place your arms to your sides, palms facing up. We're just going to uh, be here in Shavasana and do a nice body scan. So starting at the toes, you can wiggle those toes, breathing in, exhale as we rotate the ankles 
rotate the feet. Move up to the knees. And as you're breathing in and out, thinking of positive healing energy, you might want to shake your legs out a little bit, moving those knees. Up to the thighs and the hips. Relaxing the hips. Just letting your feet fall naturally to the sides. We come to midsection. Feeling that positive healing energy as we breathe in. Nice long inhale and nice long exhale. Moving that healing energy up to the chest. Opening the heart, breathing into the lungs, all of the loving, positive, radiant energy. Down through the arms and the fingertips. You might want to wiggle your hands. Wiggle your fingers. Traveling up the arms to the shoulders. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Letting your body soften to the earth. Quieting the mind, relaxing the facial muscles and the jaw. Release the tongue from the roof of the mouth and just letting it lie naturally. Keeping the eyes closed. Breathing normally in and out. We're just going to lie here in Shavasana for a couple of minutes.
creating that space for yourself. To relax. And be in the now. Take your left hand, your left palm, place it on your tummy. Take the right palm, place it on your chest. We're just going to breathe in and out. your toes just move the feet waken the knees and the thighs and so when you're coming up from Shavasana we want to go ahead and place our right arm to our sides. Lift up the knees, feet flat on the floor. And then we're just going to gently let those knees fall to the right as we move the buttocks over. And then you're just going to turn over to your side and use that left arm to help balance yourself. And we're just gonna stay here on the right side for just a moment. And you can go ahead and use your right arm and your left arm to push yourself up. And go ahead and come back to seated position, easy pose. and take a nice deep inhale and close your eyes. Hands resting on the knees, palms resting on the knees, or you can have palms facing up. I want to thank you for joining me today at Gilda's Club South Florida for joining me for this easy Hatha flow. We're gonna just take some nice deep inhales. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. When we inhale and exhale through the nose, it helps to relax that parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system. Go ahead and let's bring the arms up. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale down back to the Anjali Mudra or prayer position. Thank you again for joining me at Gilda's Club South Florida with Debbie's Dream Foundation, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Namaste. Now I think we have time for some questions and answers, if anyone has any questions.
So health benefits of yoga include stress reduction, uh, um, improving sleep quality, better digestion, also reducing hot flashes, um, reducing the anxiety and stress that can be associated with treatment. Those are just some of the, the um, benefits to a regular yoga practice. When you practice breathing meditation and yoga, you have that um, combination where you have the mind-body connection and that can help uh, reduce the stress and anxiety that can be associated um, during or after treatment. So I would say to take it slow and take it easy and not to push yourself, even if you're trying to mimic an asana that you've seen. So there are modifications that you can do. You can uh, grab a couple of blocks. So as we were, as I was showing before, the, um, uh, the tabletop position. So for instance, you could come to all fours, but if that's not comfortable for you, you could do here. You can stack the blocks, you know, like this and have four where you're just leaning slightly over. That's an option. If you don't have blocks, you can use uh, paper towel rolls. So that could be a modification for you for like the tabletop position. So usually um, you can find different modifications um, for whatever um, sequence that you're doing. And if you're working with a practitioner, let them know that you've had a recent surgery um, and let them know that you are needing some modifications to any of the poses. Yes, yeah, so yoga practice, uh, gentle flow is recommended for before, during, or after uh, diagnosis or treatment. It just depends on um, where you are. So if you were before treatment, that would help to um, get the body used to um, having some movement during treatment. You might want to let your uh, teacher know that you're in active treatment so that they can help modify those poses. Um, and then after treatment, that can help you transition to uh, the next um, phase, if you will. All right. Um, well, I just want to say that it's been a pleasure um, joining Debbie's Dream Foundation today um, and having you join us here at Gilda's Club South Florida. We offer free support services for cancer member, cancer patients and their friends and family um, because we find that it's best to have that community when we're together working with somebody, um, letting them know that we're here for them and um, please check us out at gildasclubsouthflorida.org um, and you could also check out Debbie's Dream Foundation.org and find out more about them. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.